Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over central angles by looking at the relationship between angles and arcs, going over the central angle theorems, and then solving a quick example. So central angles and arcs form when two radii are drawn from the center point of a circle. And notice right here we have, I'll highlight them in pink, so this is our radius. And this is another radius. And notice when they come together at this point, they form this angle 90 degrees. And notice that the arc AB is also equal to 90 degrees. So that's all central angles are. And um, so this example is 90 degrees, but if A was over here and this line was over here, this, these can form different value angles. So just written in math right here, we have angle ACB is equal to arc AB. And here we have angle ACV equals 90 degrees and then arc AB equals 90 degrees. So let's just write this down. So there are two central angle theorems that we're now gonna look into. So our first central angles theorem tells us that angle COD is congruent to angle AOB, so marked in this green color, and because of that we know that arc AB is congruent to arc CD. So in English words, let's write this out. So all this says is in a circle when central angles are congruent, arcs are also congruent. So our next theorem so notice this time we have chords. So before we were saying that our arcs are, are congruent to each other, if our angles are equal to, to each other, this time we're saying if our angles are equal to each other, then our chords are also equal to each other. So that's all this says here is angle COD is congruent to AOB. Then we know that uh, chord AB is congruent to chord CD. So let's write this out again in plain English. So now it says, in a circle when central angles are congruent, chords are also congruent, and vice versa. And the vice versa applies to that last theorem we just looked at as well. So take a look at this next slide here. Um, if there's anything that you missed, here are our central angle theorems that we just went over. And when you're ready, we have an example where we'll have to apply our theorems to a question. So our question says, circle O has diameters AD and CB and chords AB and CD. Given angle DOB equals 110 degrees and chords AB equals 10, find the following arcs, angles, and chords. So we then we need to find all these different arcs, angles, and chords. So let's just look at this one step at a time. Let's look at A first. So for A, we're trying to find angle AOB. So notice where AOB is, so angle AOB is right here. And right away, they, they already marked this for us, so we know 110 degrees is this angle, and we have this uh, value of 10 for this chord AB. So we want to find this value over here. So notice AD is a diameter. They gave that to us. So if AD is a diameter, that means it's a straight line that has a full value of 180 degrees. So if this entire thing is equal to 180 degrees and we're only given 110, we know that whatever is here will have to be equal to something that allows this to add to 180. So to find that, we're just going to take 180 and subtract 110. And this will give us 70 degrees. So we know that angle AOB is equal to 70 degrees. Now to find angle COD, or for letter B, um, this angle over here, Notice so that these are vertical angles. We're given that AD and CB are diameters. So we know that these are two straight lines intersecting with each other. So whatever value angle is over here is going to be over here as well. So this is also 70 degrees. Next, we're going to start looking at arcs. So arc AB. So we're looking at the value of this right here, arc AB. So central angles, that first thing we went over is that central angles are equal to the 
arc length. So if we have 70 degrees here, we know that we're gonna have 70 degrees out here as well. And now for arc CD, for this next part of our question here, this is based on theorem number one that we went over. If angles are equal to each other, then arc lengths are also equal to each other. There's a bunch of ways to think about this. So there's the theorem number one, or you could see that, oh, we have 70 degrees here, so we know that we're gonna have 70 degrees here. So this is also equal to 70 degrees. And the last part of our question, we wanna know the value of CD, so right here. So remember from our second theorem that chords are equal to each other if their angles are equal to each other. So we already know their angles are equal, so we know that their chords are two. And over here they gave us a value of 10, so we know that this is also gonna be 10. So that's really it, that answers all of our questions. For this, uh, here are the solutions again in case you missed anything or anything was hard to read. And if you're looking for more questions that just like this and you want to master your central angle theorem skills, check out the practice questions on my website mathslux.org. The link is in the description below. And if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Happy calculating! Be more practice? Check out mathslux.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!